The fall stars Emily Blunt and Ryan Gosling share a laugh as they pose for cozy shots on the red carpet at their premiere in Berlin. Emily Blunt and Ryan Gosling couldn't wipe the smiles of their faces as they hit the red carpet at the Berlin premiere of their new movie, The Fall Guy on Friday. The British actress, 41, looked sensational as she slipped into a figure-hugging navy jumpsuit for the appearance which was adorned with intricate gold embroidery. As well as dramatic floral detailing along the collar and chest, there was also a belt in the shape of a snake cinching her tiny waist. Emily completed the chic look with perfectly matching gold heels along with chandelier earrings and a dazzling diamond cocktail ring. Meanwhile Ryan, 43, was effortlessly stylish in a tailored navy suit which he wore over a pale pink shirt. The pair appeared in great spurts as they cozied up together and shared a giggle before making their way into the screening. In the three-minute trailer for the film, released in November, Colt, Gosling, finds himself in quite the complicated situation while working with his director ex Jody Blunt, while also trying to solve a crime. Nearly the entire clip focuses on whether or not Colt and Jody rekindle the flame and toward the end a moment is shown of the two finally sharing a kiss. The trailer is set to the tune of Bon Jovi classic You Give Love a Bad Name which sets the fun tone for the action comedy film. Colt and Jody reunite on set despite the director insisting she never wants to work with the star again. However things get particularly interesting when the star of the film Tom Ryder, played by Aaron Taylor Johnson, goes missing. Jody asks Colt to find Tom, which leads him to plenty of trouble, but luckily he has his stunt training background to get him out of many physical situations. The film also stars Hannah Waddingham and Winston Duke. Last week, Ryan joined Emily as well as Barbie co-star Kate McKinnon on the latest SNL episode and also broke up with Ken as he hosted for the third time. The actor, who recently made rare comments about his daughters, was also joined by musical guest and country singer. Chris Stapleton, during the big night. He kicked off his opening monologue by stepping out onto the stage and was greeted by loud cheers and applause from the live audience. Ryan expressed his gratitude to be back hosting the sketch comedy series while briefly plugging his The Fall Guy. So don't worry, I'm not going to make any jokes about Ken, because it's not funny, he stated. He then gave a big reveal to the crowd and announced that he had broken up with his Barbie character, Ken. Ken and I, we had to break up, we went too deep, and it's over, so I'm not gonna talk about it," Gosling said, but after a brief pause, added, I actually am gonna talk about it a little bit. You know when you play a character that hard, that long, just letting go just feels like a breakup. And for processing a breakup, there's really only one thing that can help. The music of the great Taylor Swift. Swift. A piano brought out onto the stage, and the star sat on a bench in front of the instrument before belting out an emotional ballad as he reflected on his split from Ken. As he sang, Gosling seemingly performed to the tune of Swift's track titled, All Too Well. Some lyrics included, If I said that I was doing fine, you know I'd be lying slash because I was just Ken, and now I'm just Ryan. Suddenly, his fall guy co-star, Emily, appeared on the stage beside Ryan, who was also sporting a fuzzy coat that his character had worn in Greta Gerwig's movie. She frustratingly told the actor, We had a whole full game plan. It was going to be epic. I was going to hit you with things. Instead, you're saying about Ken, again. Gosling argued, but it's not totally unrelated. I listened to this song in the fall guy while thinking about a breakup. I'm doing exactly what we talked about. Blunt then said, you're Kenning right now, and I hate that's even a verb. Take the coat off. You're embarrassing yourself. Come on, while also telling him to move on. Blunt then said, you're Kenning right now, and I hate that's even a verb. Take the coat off. You're embarrassing yourself come on, while also telling him to move on. However, Ryan is unable to get over his breakup and started to break out in song once again. I was there, beach blonde hair, now it's time to wish Ken farewell. Emily disappeared off the stage for a few seconds, but when she returned, she slammed a glass bottle on Gosling's head, causing it to shatter into pieces. What the hell, Emily? The actor exclaimed in shock. She replied, you were a stuntman and you can take a hit and look how cool that was, right? He agreed and added that Ken would also think it was cool. Blunt then hit him with a wooden chair and angrily told Ryan that Ken was dead. Gosling humorously retaliated by calling her film, Oppenheimer, an inferior film to Barbie. He added that Barbie won the people's hearts, while Oppenheimer did not. However, when Gosling asked Blunt if she missed Oppenheimer, 
She then also broke out into an emotional ballad. Ryan joined in on the song and the pair sang about Barbenheimer.